My name is Grant Dick. We farm uh, Niverville, Manitoba. Our farm name is Artel. Uh, it's a grain and oilseed operation around about uh, 12,000 acres. We have a manufacturing arm. We build rotary ditchers. My wife's got a uh, food retail business and uh, we we're involved with custom drying of uh, local corn for the feed market. We've been running a joker for six years. We're on our second one, not for uh, any means of longevity, but we actually scaled up. Too often, I think, tools are developed or designed for single-use application. And uh, one of the tipping points for running a joker was it's, it's a primary and secondary tillage tool. So on one side, we're using it in fall for trash management. On the second side, or in spring, we're using it as a seedbed prep and uh, trying to keep our, you know, retain moisture and not have, uh, have any ground blowing. It's interesting, North American Manufacturers Association says that our area of the world is one of the most inclement or tough conditions to be running tillage tools. The, uh, the ground can be rock hard, it can be wet, it can be, the, it's the Red River Valley. So uh, heavy gumbo is very hard on equipment. We're dealing with frost, a very short window. Um, functionality and versatility, the Joker has provided a problem solving tool that, it, you know, in a perfect world, farmers would have a stable full of, of implements for every specific application. In this case, it's something that we can use in a wide variety of conditions. It's just built extremely tough. So I have no concern about resale. Uh, in fact, when we did trade our first Joker off, it was strictly for scale. We wanted to, we wanted to ramp up on size. Uh, I know the person who bought it, and it, uh, basically the older unit went through the shop and was resold with a warranty. So uh, it's one thing to buy the right tool for the job, but knowing that you're not gonna be running this thing to salvage value and uh, being left with nothing at the end is also reassuring because let's face it, equipment is the investment, uh, part of the investment in operations and we can't farm without it. So. Our steel coal has to have a value proposition to it. So 2019, I believe, was our wettest fall on record. We came into the spring last year with um, three quarters of the farm not having fertility or uh, tillage, fall tillage done. So as a result, the one unit that never stopped moving was our joker. Had we not been on the ground with it, we would not have been seeding. Uh, literally pulling out of the field with planters and seeders chasing the uh, and downtime was nil, so there is no downtime. You can tell a lot about a company by where they spend their marketing dollars. So having been taken overseas to go to the factory, meet with the management, meet with the owners, having uh, vision talks about what the state of agriculture is, where it's gonna be in 10 years, uh, it's very reassuring to know that you have access to the engineers on the floor that are hearing what, your, what concerns and problems are for very regional issues so again being in an area of the world that is probably some of the most inclement conditions on earth uh, when it comes to tillage and, and soil conditions the uh, the fact that a machine can be spec specific to your area the the fact that uh, the company itself is a first generation company and they definitely want to be a disruptor it seems to me that Horst has a mindset to build things right first and then look about this look at the scalability and how they're going to you know manufacture a, 100 units or something. Whereas I think often uh, there's a disconnect between engineers and consumers. Uh, that doesn't exist in the horse uh, organization.